Hey kids, today we are going to learn about estimating quotients using compatible numbers. And our learning target for today is being able to use compatible numbers and your basic facts to estimate quotients. I would like for us to review dividend, divisor, and quotient, but first I want you to pause the video and write down these definitions and this example and then we'll talk about it. Pause the video now. Okay, now that you have written these definitions and the example down, our dividend is the total amount that we're going to start with. It's the total that we want to divide up. Our divisor is the number of equal groups or parts you want to divide by, and our quotient is an answer to a division problem. And so 126 divided by 6 equals 21. This shows us the different parts, the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. There's a quick review of using division. Let's go on to today's work. We're going to simply estimate quotients. So when we're estimating, we're not going to find an exact answer. We're going to find an estimated answer. So let's take a look again at 126 divided by 6. This symbol here that you see means approximately equal to. And so that's what we want to find out. So what I'm going to do first is pay attention to my first two digits. So my first two digits are 12 and my divisor is going to be 6. So my dividend 126 shows the first two digits of 12 and that's what I want to focus on because it's going to help me to easily make this compatible. Right now 12 is already compatible with 6 so I don't have much work that I'm going to have to do here. So what I do need to do is rewrite this as 120 divided by 6. And I am estimating my dividend of 126, which is why I have now changed it to 120. And now I continue to look at my basic facts. 12 divided by 6 is going to give me 2. And then I cannot forget that I have this zero to account for. I'm going to simply add that to my approximate quotient, my estimated quotient. So 126 divided by 6 is approximately equal to 20. Now let's look at this next example. 579 divided by 3. Again, I'm going to look here at the first two digits, which is 57, and I'm going to make that compatible with 3. So I need to change this 57 to digits that are compatible with 3. And I'm going to change 57 to 60. And so that 9 is going to become a 0 because I'm estimating 579 to 600 divided by 3. I am going to now look again here at my basic facts. So I have 6 divided by 3. And that's going to be 2. And then I have these two zeros that I need to account for. And so my estimated quotient is going to be 200. Now let's look at more work that we're going to have to do with estimating quotients. This time our directions have changed. This time we're going to use compatible numbers to find two estimates that the quotient is between. So essentially we're going to do the same thing we did with the other two examples, but we have to do it twice. So basically that's what we're going to do. So 1,382 divided by 5 is approximately equal to blank and blank. So I'm going to again look at the first two digits, which is my 13, and I need to make it compatible with 5. And since I'm going to do this twice, I need to decide where I'm going to start. So I'm going to start at the lower end and I'm going to make this 13 a 10 because 10 is compatible with 5 and then I'm just going to change the 8 and the 2 to zeros because I have now estimated 1,382 to just 1,000. I am going to divide by 5 and then I'm going to look at my basic facts. 10 divided by 5 is 2 but then I have these two zeros, so that's going to be 200. 
Okay, now I need to do this again. So this time I am going to take the um, 13, I'm going to look at the 13 again, and I am going to make it compatible with 5. This time I'm going to change the 13 to a 15, because 15 is compatible with 5. So I'm going to estimate 1,382, I'm going to estimate that to 1,500 divided by 5, and then I'm going to look at my basic facts, 15 divided by 5 is 3, then I have these two zeros, and so now I can say that 1,382 divided by 5 is approximately equal to 200 and 300. So my estimate is going to be between 200 and 300. Now let's look at 3,220 divided by 4 and we're going to do the same thing. Why don't you pause the video yourself and try this one on your own and then we'll come back and take a look at how you did. Pause the video now. Okay, let's see how you did. Hopefully, you looked at the 32, the first two digits, and the 4. In this case, this was already compatible. And so, we needed to go ahead and say 32. I'm going to make that 3,200 divided by 4. And then we can look at our basic facts of 32 and 4. 32 divided by 4 is going to give me 8, and then I have these two zeros. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that over here because I'm going to know that this is going to be my higher estimate. Now, I'm going to do the same thing again with 3,200, and I'm going to have to change this 32 to a different number that's compatible with 4, and I'm going to choose 28. So I'm going to say 2,800 divided by 4 this time. And I am going to go ahead and look at my basic facts. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Then I have these two zeros. And so 3,220 divided by 4 is approximately equal to 700 and 800. So my estimate, my estimated quotient is going to be between 700 and 800. Okay, kids, now it's your turn to practice problems. Don't forget to go on that modal and turn in your assignment.